King Kong, he had a big ex. Get a hurricane tongue. Well, not to say you disagree. Well, that's you, and I'm sorry. Yeah, that's for my beats. With the bend, he's the hummer, he's the bend. That's the way you fill up. Sit my tequila. From the dealer. How do you know how I touch Biggie? How do you know how we kissed? How do you know how we talked? How do you know what, like, there were certain things that we did intimately no one would ever know except for me and him. Right. Lil Kim's life has been nothing short of a wild ride, starting with one of the most explosive scandals in hip hop history. She wasn't just Biggie's protege, she was his secret lover, locked in a love triangle with Faith Evans that had everyone talking. But Kim didn't let that drama slow her down. From her humble beginnings in Brooklyn to becoming a global rap icon, her journey has been filled with jaw-dropping moments, fame, feuds, fashion, and more. Ready to dive into the ups and downs of the Queen Bee's life? Let's get into it. Born Kimberly Denise Jones on July 11, 1974 in Brooklyn, New York, Lil' Kim did have it easy from the get-go. Raised in a strict household by her father, after her parents split up, she clashed with him constantly. Well, he was very strict anyway because he was in the Air Force. He was in the Army, he's in all the, like the Navy and Captain One and at the Air Force, so he, he's a disciplinarian. He's a disciplinarian to the 15th power. Everything was done at 100 hours. Things got so bad that Kim left home in her teens and found herself on the streets. But don't get it twisted, Lil' Kim was always a fighter. She found her calling when she crossed paths with Christopher Wallace, aka the Notorious B.I.G., who saw the fire in her and took her up under his wing. Biggie was the closest to me. He's just a charming man and a ladies' man, so he could talk to you and uh -huh. make you feel like. I can imagine. Yes. And so did he say to you, "Listen, can you also say?" He, Biggie, just believed in me, and he knew that I was good at what I did. I was really good at it. He was just like, "I need her. I need you on my side." And he was like, "Let's make some money, mom." But we were always close, and we kind of had like a relationship before he even made his first record. Biggie played a huge role in launching Kim's career. In the mid-90s, Lil' Kim became the only female member of the group, Junior Mafia. And soon after, the world got its taste of her fierce, unapologetic style on hits like Player's Anthem I used to pack packs and Cadillacs, now I pimp gaps in the axe. and get money. Nine while I pack on mine, now what the I ain't got time for this. In 1996, Lil' Kim changed the game forever when she dropped her debut solo album, Hardcore. The album was an instant success, and Kim's raunchy in-your-face lyrics, combined with her overtly sexual persona, made her stand out in a male-dominated industry. Tracks like No Time and Crush On You, cemented her as a force to be reckoned with. But it wasn't just the music that made her a household name, it was her look, too. I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't, I can't. fashion icon. I know, babe. Lil' Kim's daring outfits, platinum wigs, and signature bold makeup helped establish her as a fashion icon. If there's one thing Kim's always done right, it's fashion. Her fearless style set trends in the 90s and continues to influence the industry today. Remember the jaw-dropping purple jumpsuit she wore to the 1999 MTV VMAs with one breast covered by a pasty? That was just one of the many iconic looks that have kept her in the fashion spotlight. But Kim's connection to the fashion world goes beyond just wearing bold outfits. She teamed up with the designer Marc Jacobs to work on her autobiography, The Queen Bee, blending her life with high fashion. Jacobs, a longtime fan and friend of Kim, helped bring a stylish flair to the project, which dives deep into her life, from the beginnings in Brooklyn to becoming the rap icon we know today. The book has been highly anticipated, with fans eager to get the inside scoop on Kim's personal life, her thoughts on the rap game, and her struggles with fame. But while she was at the top of the charts, her personal life was making headlines too, thanks to her complicated relationship with Biggie. Biggie was the type of person to motivate you. He always wanted you, to, anyone, to succeed. He always wanted everybody to have a better life for themselves. He was just hungry. He just wanted to make the album. If he could get 500,000 fans, he used to say, he happy. She wasn't just his protege. Rumors swirled that they were romantically involved, despite Biggie being married to fellow singer Faith Evans. Like a teddy bear. He was just so coogy. I thought he was really nice. And he had this way about him with women. He was different from and ready to die than life after death to me. He was a little bit more firm, you know what I mean? Because I guess he knew what was out there after that. 
the love triangle between Kim, Biggie, and Faith created a media frenzy, with Kim often portrayed as the other woman. I think the first time I saw Kim was at the Big Papa video shoot. And I was like, who is that girl? And they was like, oh, that's little Kim. I had heard about her before, but I think by, you know, initially I was kind of trying to be cool with her. I mean, I think we were pretty cool. I see pictures right. where, you know, I had on her glasses, she had on mine. You know, I was kind of being cool with her because I knew that was Big's artist, but I didn't know anything about <laughs> their involvement. You know, I didn't know they was in any kind of relationship, but I was new. You know, I was new to their circle. So, I mean, I wouldn't have known their history. And of course, he wasn't trying to tell me that shit. The tension between Kim and Faith was well known in the industry. The two women had a complicated relationship full of emotional ups and downs as both dealt with Biggie's divided attention. Faith was the wife, but Kim was the lover, and the rivalry between them was no secret. The drama even escalated to physical altercations as Kim later admitted to fighting with Faith on more than one occasion during their feud over Biggie. The Los Angeles Police Department continues to investigate the murder of the notorious B.I.G., who died in a drive-by shooting early Sunday morning in Los Angeles. While Biggie's tragic death in 1997 shook the rap community, Kim was devastated, not just by losing her mentor and friend, but by losing the man she loved. Their affair had fueled some of the hottest gossip in hip-hop, and even though Biggie was gone, the tension between Kim and Faith did fade away. Lil' Kim kept it pushing, focusing on her career and creating an even bigger name for herself. More than a decade after Biggie's death, the 2009 biopic Notorious was released, telling the story of his life. You'd think this would be the chance for everyone to honor Biggie's legacy, right? Wearing that card teaches you how to in there. Just keep eye out for the media, for the public. Not exactly. When Kim saw the film, she was furious. She felt the portrayal of her character, played by actress Notori Naughton, was completely inaccurate and disrespectful. The movie, I was never, I put the movie went into green light and I didn't even know about it. You know, how can you write, this is my, this is my dispute with this. Like, how can you write a, a movie about somebody's life and you don't even talk to them? What about Biggie's mother, Volette? Have you had a chance mm -hmm. to speak with her? Because at one point, there were some words that came out of her mouth that was mm -hmm. kind of surprising also. She's you a very Twitter? sick you lady. Any... She, I, she is. She's, I mean, I'm really being, I'm being very honest. You sure hell are. I am. Very, I mean, and I, I pray for her dearly because, you know, I, I know her. I've been around her. I've slept in the same. After Biggie he died, her, I, and Tiana used to sleep in his bed. And now it's like a whole nother story. You know, she's, it's crazy. Now, Very how soon. would you address it? Would it be, because at one point it was like, there may be a movie from Lil' yeah. Kim. In particular, Kim took issue with how her relationship with Biggie was depicted, saying that it made her look like a side chick and minimized the depth of their bond. Do you know how I touch Biggie? How do you know how we kissed? How do you know how we talked? How do you know what, like there were certain things that we did intimately. No one would ever know except for me and him. But what really reignited the flames of her feud with Faith Evans was the fact that Faith was one of the producers of the film. Kim accused Faith of using the movie to paint herself in a better light while downplaying Kim's role in Biggie's life. Oh, I mean, the stories of even him and, and Faith, it, it's so far-fetched. This story is ridiculously funny. It's like a spoof to me. She was especially hurt by how the film failed to capture the complexity of her and Biggie's relationship. Oh, shit. Do you see in her that you don't see in me? Reducing it to something superficial, Kim went on a public rant, slamming the biopic and calling out Faith for what she saw as a deliberate misrepresentation. Diddy, I've spoke to him, but you know Puffy's Puffy. Right, so at right. the end of the day, he did do a blog. He starts walking that, around and dancing. Uh, room but and did you see the blog that he did? He did a blog saying that that's not Kim. Oh, okay. And you, you had gone and he talks about me and D-Rock's in the back saying that is not Kim. Like, don't, just don't believe that movie. And he says it. He was like, Biggie had love for Kim. You know, just, you know, I guess he's, you know, he's involved financially. So right. he got to do it. He got to do the support the movie. Faith, for her part, responded by saying the film was based on Biggie's perspective, not hers, and that the goal was to show his life from his point of view. But Kim wasn't having it. The drama between Kim and Faith, which had been relatively quiet for years, was back in the headlines, and fans on both sides weighed in on who was telling the real story. Now, Kim wasn't just in the news for her love life. Oh no, she had her fair share of feuds too. One of the most famous was her beef with fellow female rapper Foxy Brown. 
first one coming out with the little, you know what I mean, the right. sexy things. Right. So right. She did her thing, and she's doing her thing, and that's my girl. So at the end of the day, when all the haters are still yapping, we sitting back counting our millions, like, how much you got for that remix? You got a new plaque on your wall? You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, it's all good. What started as a mutual respect quickly turned into a full-blown rivalry, with both artists taking shots at each other in their lyrics and interviews. Fans were divided. Were you Team Lil' Kim or Team Foxy? The feud hit its peak in the early 2000s when things got real. Now, let's talk about one of the biggest betrayals in Kim's life, her fallout with Junior Mafia member Lil C's. These two weren't just crew members, they were like family. C's was practically Kim's little brother in the music game, always by her side during their rise to fame. But things took a dark turn in 2001, during a shootout outside Hot 97's radio station. It was outside New York City radio station Hot 97 last week. Police say it was Lil Kim's posse versus friends of Foxy Brown involving members of Kim's entourage. When the case went to court, Kim, always loyal, lied to protect her friends. But Lil C's, he flipped the script. C's ended up testifying against her, providing information that would later lead to Kim's conviction. She was found guilty of perjury and conspiracy and was sentenced to a year in federal prison in 2005 for her role in the cover-up, becoming the first female rapper to serve jail time for Martha because she's the reason why I got less time. The judge was like, you know, Kimberly, I want to give you three years. I, that's what I want to do. Damn. He's like, I want to give you three years, but I can't because I can't explain to the community. <laughs> but he said this, this little black girl. He said this in court? Yes. <laughs> He's I can't explain how I give this little black girl, okay, <laughs> all this time for the same exact crime that Martha Stewart committed. Right, so Martha paved the way. <laughs> yeah, I think he still gave me more time than her, but at least it wasn't three years. <laughs> well, why did you decide not to snitch? Talk about ride or die. But this time, Kim was riding behind bars, alone. But in 2019, during the celebration of the Notorious B.I.G.'s life at the B.I.G. party, Lil C shocked everyone by apologizing to Kim in front of the audience. I genuinely apologize and I love you from the bottom of my heart. You like one of my... In a moment that took many by surprise, C said, I apologize for the things I've done that may have hurt you or affected you. The public apology was C's way of trying to mend fences after years of bad blood, but whether Kim fully forgave him remains unclear. While she accepted the apology in the moment, the scars from that betrayal likely run deep. While behind bars, Kim showed just how tough she really is. Her time in prison didn't slow her down. In fact, she dropped her fourth album, The Naked Truth, Cause I'm a be here. Pull up a beach chair and pop you a vex. Which was critically acclaimed and earned her a five mic rating from The Source, a rare honor in the hip hop world. Even after she was released, Kim maintained her place in the spotlight, refusing to let her time behind bars define her. If anything, it made her even more of a legend. As Kim's career continued to flourish, her look began to change a lot. Throughout the 2000s, the rapper was the subject of rumors about plastic surgery. Her face became nearly unrecognizable, sparking conversations about body image and the pressures of fame. Kim has been pretty tight-lipped about the extent of her surgeries, though she admitted to getting work done. She's claimed that a lot of her procedures were the result of physically abusive relationships, which caused her to seek reconstructive surgery. Saturn, no, it, which was something that I read about and I had no idea about your life, um, was when you talked about being in, in an abusive relationship. Still, the media had a field day. And it looks like she may have had additional rhinoplasty surgery because now I'm not seeing that lateral wall collapse as much. Critics accused her of trying to erase her African-American features while fans were divided. But one thing remained constant, Kim's confidence. She never let the haters get her down, always insisting she feels beautiful no matter what people say. And honestly, that's why we love her. Now, let's spill some tea on Kim's personal life. In 2014, the Queen Bee welcomed her first child, a daughter named Royal Reign with rapper Mr. Papers. While she was overjoyed at becoming a mother, her relationship with Mr. Papers was anything but smooth. The couple went through a messy public breakup, which involved a nasty custody battle over their daughter. 
Kim claimed Mr. Papers was abusive while he accused her. Mr. Papers! Huh? After seeing pics of Lil' Kim and the great together, he was feeling not so great. Today. Of keeping the child away from him, the drama was tabloid gold. But eventually, the two made peace for the sake of their daughter. Kim has since expressed how much motherhood has changed her, saying she's a better person because of royal reign. Aww. We can't talk about Lil' Kim without mentioning the other scandals that have rocked her career. Aside from her prison sentence, Kim has faced multiple lawsuits. Lil' Kim is accused of taking money from and then ghosting the concert promoter behind a failed music festival. Can you believe it? It seems as if she has tons of financial troubles and she even filed for bankruptcy. In 2018, she filed for Chapter 13 bankruptcy, claiming she owed $4 million in debts. Despite her financial troubles, Kim has managed to stay relevant, thanks in part to her loyal fan base and the respect she commands in the hip-hop community. Then there's endless speculation about her ongoing beefs with fellow rappers. While her rivalry with Foxy Brown eventually fizzled out, Lil' Kim has taken shots at other stars over the years, including Nicki Minaj. But did I kill a queen? Now Alexander McQueen's got the wrist on glow, the bottles is on pop. In the late 2000s, a new queen emerged on the rap scene. You know her, Nicki Minaj. But instead of passing the torch, Kim saw Nicki as an imitator, someone who borrowed her style without paying respects to the original. The tension between the two led to one of the most talked about beefs in rap history, with both sides throwing shade through diss tracks and interviews. Kim's Black Friday I'm over 10 years strong, still running the game. Cut the comparisons, I'm in a legendary lane. This track was a direct hit at Nicki, but the beef didn't stop there. Interviews, tweets, and social media all became battlegrounds as fans took sides between the two. Even though Nicki went on to become a superstar in her own right, though she hoped for a reconciliation, it seemed that the Queen Bee and Barbie are destined to stay rivals. Kim's influence on female rap is undeniable, and she made sure to remind everyone that she did it first. As if things couldn't get more heated, let's talk about Kim's beef with 50 Cent. Now, we all know 50 Cent is no stranger to throwing shade, but this time, he crossed a serious line. In 2021, 50 took to Instagram and made offensive comments about Lil' Kim's appearance in a performance, comparing her to an owl. But it didn't stop there. He dragged Kim's daughter, Royal Rain, into the mess, posting a meme that mocked her. Kim wasn't having it. She fired back hard, calling 50 out for involving her child in their drama. She didn't hold back her response, telling him to leave her family out of his antics and accusing him of being disrespectful to women, especially black women. The internet went wild, with fans on both sides weighing in on the beef. But one thing was clear, Kim wasn't going to stand by and let anyone disrespect her daughter. Kim's fierce defense of royal reign showed a different side of her. Though she's always been known for her boldness, motherhood brought out a protective instinct in a way that made her fans admire her even more. As of 2024, Lil' Kim is 50 years old, and she is still a legend in her own right. After decades of success, she's estimated to have a net worth of over $500,000. Though reports on her finances have fluctuated given her past money troubles, despite financial hiccups, the Queen Bee is showing no signs of slowing down. In recent years, she's been making a comeback with performances, appearances on reality TV shows like Girls Cruise. But then it's like, I don't know, cause that pain, girl. <laughs> and even new music. In 2019, she dropped her fifth studio album, Nine, call me Blanco, like the mob out here. We which received praise from fans and critics alike. Lil Kim continues to tour, perform, and collaborate with artists, proving she's still a force in the industry. Despite the controversies, beefs, and betrayals, we're looking at you, Lil C's. Kim's place in hip hop history is cemented. She might not be rolling in the millions she once had, but her influence is priceless.